The disciples weren't teaching the Gospels over here. There's no account in the scriptures of them coming over here teaching the Gospel. They taught in the Eastern Hemisphere. So that's talking about today, okay? All right? And just like the apostles and the certain disciples got spiritual power and they was healing and, and casting out spirits, putting demons on people, all right? Okay? They're going to they gonna have that same power on this side. All right? Okay? Keep reading. And when he had spoke these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received them out of their sight. He was, he was taken into the cloud. Okay? Now we keep hearing about this cloud. We're going to break down what's the cloud, or the clouds of heaven. But your pastor ain't going to break that down, because he's a demon. And a false prophet. That's right. That's right. And if it's a woman teacher, she, she's a total demon. And she's going to be destroyed too. That's right. Simple ass nigga woman. Keep reading. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. These are angels. Get that, get that real quick in uh, Ezekiel about the color of the angels. I think it's like one and eight. All right. So we don't get it twisted. So you people don't get it twisted. When the Lord comes back with his hosts of heaven, the angels, they're going to be black men. Okay? Because there's no account in the scriptures of the angels being women or babies. Okay? That was the perverse, deviant uh, 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 madness of Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo that drew all them uh, abominable blasphemous images when they was covering up the uh, the images of the angels, the saints, our Lord, and the Heavenly Father, man. And they're going to have to pay for that. All right? Those people that did that. Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 8. And they that... And they that had the hands of a... Uh, okay. Ezekiel 1 and 4. And I looked and beheld a whirlwind came out of the north. Yeah, and that whirlwind is a chariot. Because when you read the scriptures, which we're going to break down, that the clouds, the clouds of heaven, okay, the whirlwind, the wings, that's all speaking about the chariots, which the Lord is coming back in. Okay, we're going to break it down. Keep reading. A great cloud. And oh, a, a cloud. There it goes again, the cloud. Keep reading. And a fire unfolding itself. Uh -huh. And brightness was about it. Yep. And out of the midst thereof was the color of amber out of the midst of the fire. That's right, the color of amber, which is like a reddish, fiery, uh, orange color. Okay. All right. Ezekiel is describing the chariots. Keep reading. Also, out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. Four living creatures. Okay. It's the same four living creatures that you read about in Revelation chapter 4. Okay, keep reading. And this was the appearance they had, the likeness of men. The likeness of men. So that crushed all that, that, that blasphemous Renaissance art of these pictures of, of angels being women or, or pasty naked babies. That's not scriptural. The angels had the appearance of men. Keep reading. And everyone had four face, faces. Uh -huh. And everyone had four wings. Yep. And their feet were straight feet, and their soles of their feet was like the soles of a calf foot. Yeah, it was it was it was pure. Keep reading, because calves are um, considered uh, a clean animal. Keep reading. And they sprinkled, sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Sparkled like the color of burnished brass that's going back to how the lord looked like like uh fine brass as if it burned in a furnace it's the same thing as burnished brass so they were dark skinned brown colored men their appearance that's all i want on that okay so when the lord come back it's going to be a black man with an afro with red eyes okay and with a fierce countenance ready to destroy you people okay and his heavenly host as well Key reading. Acts chapter 1, verse 10. Yeah. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, 
as he went up. Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Yep. Which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come into like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Yeah, so the Lord was taken up into a cloud. Now go to uh, Psalms 104. Start at verse 1 and read down to 3. To prove that the clouds are the chariots. So the Lord was taken in and, into a chariot, man. All right? They're also known as uh, uh, the chariots of uh, fiery horses and horsemen. Like when Elijah was uh, taken into heaven. He was taken into a fiery chariot with uh, fiery horses. Okay? That's talking about the, uh, the chariots, so-called UFOs, which glow in amber and, and barrel. They describe as wheels within, wheels flying rolls, all right? Clouds of heaven, pillar of fire by night, cloud by day, okay? Keep reading. Psalms chapter 104, verse three. Yep. Who led the now start at, start at the top, read out. Bless is the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my power, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. That's right. Who covers thyself with light as, as with a garment. Yep. Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. Like a curtain. And that's in, uh, I think that's in Isaiah where he said he stretches out the heavens like a curtain and dwell there. I'm talking about the heavens. All right. Which is unmeasurable. Esau. For NASA. You devils. Thinking that if you trying to fulfill that prophecy or the challenge that the Lord gave him in Jeremiah saying if you can measure the, the whole heavens and know the, the, the depth of the, of the seas then Israel will disconnect from being the Lord's people which you're never going to find that out okay so we his people forever man just deal with it